Yes, 100%. So I love guys with long hair. So I immediately was like looking at Hanya and I was like, that's the one. That's the one I'm going to talk to. Yes. Um, but then within like five minutes of the conversation, I was like, I have to leave now. <laughs> I was like, maybe we can be friends, but I have to go. I have to walk away. I have to find someone else. <laughs> So, I mean, it's hard to explain. He's a nice guy, you know, like we could go have lunch as friends or something, but he is just very, I mean, I see why Ash wanted to come to the island and I see why she seemed so broken when she first came in. He seemed like he only cared about what he had to say and didn't want to get to know really any of us. He didn't even know her birthday. He forgot her birthday. And I was like, okay, if you forget your girlfriend's birthday of a year, like, I don't want to talk to you that much. Like, So the fact that he didn't know her birthday, that yeah. is insulting. That is sad. I, and Ash is such a nice girl. And as I was, was watching this, I was like, I can just see her coming in this damaged, beat down girl who like can't stand up for herself and I can already see her growing like in the first three episodes like right and the fact that he was like oh I want an open relationship because I can't do long distance I was like no nope, that just seems like you want to have sex all the time and you can't like keep it in your pants while your girlfriend that you love is in a different state that's <laughs> a, I, 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 oh my god wait and that if i it's if someone introduced me as their friend and they were my seventh grade boyfriend i would be like uh, i'll be like okay you know what no we are friends we're friends now <laughs> that's yeah, it. enjoy you enjoyed like your five minutes of me as your seventh grade girlfriend and right. then like, how dare you yeah no not okay yeah oh my god but i would never accept that no no but i do think people are capable of changing that's valuable that's awesome of course and i do think watching everything back you see how you act. Like most people, you know, they'll, people can tell them like, oh, you sound like a bitch, but you don't get to see it. But, you know, he gets to sit there and watch that and hear what Ash has to say, what everyone else has to say, say about him, you know. And I think that there is room for change. So I approached him at the mixer. We talked for a few minutes. And even like the way he talks, like this is me, like don't, you know, say this, but like, he like talks like this and I couldn't, I couldn't take it seriously. So um, I got up and I heard like some people laughing like in a group and I was like, that's where I need to go. And it was, it was Luke. It was Luke and a few other girls. And immediately, as soon as I sat down, like me and Luke clicked. Like, I was like, okay, this is the guy I want to talk to. Uh, why? What What about Luke? Made you feel that way? So, um, I felt like he was being very authentic. Um, and I could tell that he felt like awkward, but he was like making jokes about it. And we just had the same sense of humor, similar family history. It was just immediately I was like, okay, this guy is very easy to talk to. And I think he's cute. You know, we're not really supposed to like, per se, the couple girls. Um, I thought they were all beautiful, but Ash and Iris seemed like just very nice. Like they seemed kind of, not shy, but like they weren't talking back to us or anything. Julian seemed like a firecracker. And I was like, oh, we're gonna have issues, but you know. Okay, now when you say you're not really supposed to, it's like, that's because the show's designed like sort of to, you know, pit you guys against each other. But still other men, but like they come there to have their men willingly, right? Exactly, and right. Oh my, when I was watching myself get like liquid cream, I was like, who is that? <laughs> I mean, I've done that and can't, like, if there were cameras around, just like cameras, not on TV. Right. I, yeah, I'm not even really like embarrassed because like I still do things like that now. Like I am a party girl. I love to have fun, 
But I'm just like, oh, grandmas are watching this. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, my mom. So like my dad, my mom and dad, that was their date night. They would sit down and watch Temptation Island and they'd be like, you should watch the show. It's so funny. Like you, and my mom was like, you do so well as one of the singles. And then I watched it and I was like, huh, so like, do you think I'm a homewrecker? Or like, do you think I'm really hot? Or, I don't, I don't know. Thanks though. But um, she was like, no, definitely you should apply. You should apply. So I was like, okay, I will. And then it just kind of kept rolling. And I was like, you know, I just graduated college. Um, I was getting ready to move out of my college town. I was like, the world is my oyster right now. I can do whatever I want. I'm 23, I'm young, I'm hot, why not? Did your dad agree with with that? Was he? Did he have any qualms in the beginning or was he okay? The with only thing he said was, you're ruining date night. <laughs> and I said, you know, yeah. You're not supposed said, to be on my TV on date night. I said, find another show, Mike. Find another show. No and yes. No, because that's why they came there. You know, whatever. I did feel guilty after the whipped cream party. I even had a conversation with Luke. I was like, I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable because, you know, he was blindfolded. And I, don't, I want you to know that there is more to me than just that party girl side. Because, I mean, that's really the only time they see another side is like if we go on a one-on-one -on -one date or like we talk one-on-one, -on -one, which is hard to do in the house. And so I just didn't want him to think that that was the only side of me. And that's the only thing I really felt guilty about. Boys or girls? <laughs> Either. Any. All. Yes, 100%. Um, I think all the girls were hot. Loved all of them. Alexa, Marissa, her boobs, yum. The guys, I love long hair. So immediately I was kind of like, Taylor's sexy. Blake is sexy. The tattoos, I love that. I like tall men. So Blake was like, yum. I thought all the singles honestly were super hot. What another interesting aspect of the show is that like, in addition to you guys being there as like potential threats for the couples who chose to be in this situation, they picked like the hottest single humans on earth and put all of you in one spot also. We're like, <laughs> all bets are off. <laughs> yeah, that, we were, we talked about that after we were like, man, what would we have done if we would have all been on the same island? That would have just been, <laughs> that probably wouldn't have been able to be aired. Like <laughs> that will now. Now that you've said that, like that's gonna be the the reunion. Like that's gonna be the special that they come out with. That that would be. I mean, oh my no, oh. no, no, no. Yum yum yum. Invite me to that. <laughs> I was hopeful. I was very very hopeful because you know I'm from such a small town, and the college that I went to was like. 45 minutes from that small town. So I've been out of Georgia, obviously, like I haven't just stayed in this one state, but I was like, I can't wait to meet people from all around the United States, you know, finally meet people with like an open mind, a different perspective on life, probably, hopefully. So yeah, I mean, I definitely went in super hopeful. Your worldview is blown because when you meet, even when you're like the best version of you, like you meet other people that, from completely different places and influence you differently. And it's fun and awesome and wild. Yeah, that's that's really cool. That's awesome. And everyone was like, oh my God, your accent is so strong. You're so country. I was like, what? No, I'm not. And then like, I would hear them talk and they say all these like Northern things. I'd be like, what are you even saying? <laughs> no, I would. You know, I kind of for a little bit was like, yeah, you know, I should get a boyfriend, go on the show. And then as I'm watching it and I'm watching the bonfires, I'm like, I think I'm a little too crazy for that. Like, I think I might swim to their house and be like, what the f why'd you touch my man? So it's hard for me to sit here and be like, you know, they asked for it. But if I were in their seat, See? I would be I would be so crazy and mad. Wait, so I, I said know. I would have been kicked off the show by security. I'm like, I would be that. Literally. Girl. You saw climbing out the window in the middle and be like, mm -mm, no. No, and as, as soon as like one single like pointed at my man, I'd be like, the you say? No, we're leaving. We're gone. Let's go.
So I can't answer the dating part, but we all keep in touch. We're all super good friends for the most part. Like I said, Alexa, me and Alexa, like she will be in my wedding. She is one of my best friends ever. We all have like a group snap. We have a group Instagram uh, and a group chat. We talk to each other all the time. So they, all of them lifelong friends. He actually was in the other house, so I never met him. But if a guy shows up to the guy's house from past seasons, that's all I'll say. Love that. Love that. Okay. Oh, I really want to say this, but I don't think I can. Um, there have been a lot of predictions um, that I've been reading about who they think is going to cheat and who they think is not. And most of the predictions I've seen are completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs>